So speaking of IDEs, let's go take a look at um, getting one for Eclipse. Probably the uh, the DDT project for Eclipse is the one I was familiar with. It's at code.google.com/a/ Eclipse Labs dot org slash p dot ddt so ddt requires helios the helios release of eclipse and uh, as things change probably just want to come to the user guide and take a look at the installation instructions and it'll um, tell you like it's telling you to download the platform runtime binary but if you've already got an installation of eclipse you don't need to do that step but your eclipse has to be at least um, helios so then you start up Eclipse, and I've already done this as well, but we'll come through here again and resize this. Okay, and then just like a lot of other tools, you can just use the um, install new software. You can add, click add, and you can add a new site. And I called mine DDT, the programming language, and see if you can see this, but it was on the web page. You can just copy and paste. In fact, let's go back to that real quick. Um, so it shows you right here. Um, download Eclipse.org, Eclipse Downloads. Um, and then even again, when it's telling you how to do the Add button, so you're just going to put it right there. You can just copy and paste that when you when you click the Add button. So you right into the location field and give it whatever name you want. So since I've already done it, it's here and you should see the DDT project show up and the DDT development tools you would click those and then you would um, and you want to make sure that contact all update sites during installation to find required software and then you click next and just walk through the wizard and it's going to install um, DDT for you and then when that's done there's my, you can just come in and um, first thing you want to do is come into preferences and then go to DDT, go to compilers, click add, and then you just want to go interpreter executable. You want to browse to your dmd.exe file that you installed when we started. So you'd click on that, and I've already done it. Get the whole window over here. So I'm not going to do it again. And you end up with this window showing. And then you can configure the editor if you want. But once you've done that, you're, you're pretty much ready to go. You can say file. You can say new D project. If it's not there, usually you can go to other and you'll see it under other, but a new D project. And um, um, just call it screencast demo. Create a new project. Use the default interpreter. So we can say next, see what's here. Let's get this in a little smaller so we can see everything. Um, I haven't fully explored this, but this looks like it's telling you the things it's going to do. It's going to create a source folder for your source. Um, so anyway, various options to explore here. But let's just say finish for now. So finished, and you don't get anything. The source is empty, so you don't even get hello world like I have in my other project. So let's uh, get rid of that. So just say source, right click, say new, say file. And let's call it hello world.d. And there you go. You say finish. And then you can just start um, typing. And type ahead works and all that all that good stuff. Everything ends with a semicolon in D, and then so we can take void main, put our curly brackets in, and we can say right line, hello world. Okay, you can see it checking, so now all that works, and let's see, so this is the screencast demo, and I can't remember, looks like there is no build here. Um, this is all new to me too, so I'm just going to say build. Oh, it says build automatically is checked, so I guess I wasn't paying attention down here. It's actually probably doing the build as I as I save. I just hit save, so there it goes. Undefined identifier right line. Oh, I put an extra E on there by accident. Okay, I hit save again. And now we're looking good. Then you typically will create a run configuration. Um, 
So let's go do that. Let's find our windows a little bit small and too tall. Okay, so um, we want to create a D application. We're going to click new and there's our project automatically selected. It automatically found our our script if uh, our launch script actually this isn't what we want we want it to point to the exe so let's come to the bin ah, let's open the bin and we want the screencast demo.exe that's what we want to launch so and then let's say run and then there it is there's the results for hello world so there you are up and running in eclipse with ddt and the d compiler